Thanks for joining me for this latest Met Office weather update. Cold one out there again tonight. Staying cold, in fact, throughout this week, thanks to an area of high pressure. But it's not completely dry. We have seen a few sleet and snow showers across the south with tumbling temperatures. That could mean things are quite icy out there. So we do have a Met Office yellow warning in place across southern England, uh, south Wales, parts of the South Midlands. That is valid until 3 o'clock in the morning. The uh, flurries are working from east to west. No huge amounts. But uh, any kind of shower falling when temperatures are around freezing could generate those icy conditions on untreated roads and pavements. One or two showers over southern Scotland, but they'll also tend to fade away. The fog in northern Scotland, however, particularly around uh, Inverness and along the Murray Firth, likely to stick around through the night if anything thickening up once more. For many, there'll be quite a bit of cloud and that should stop temperatures dropping too far. That breeze in the south also continuing to pick up, but still most towns and cities will get down too or certainly very close to uh, freezing, if not a little below. Parts of northeast England may just stay above with a bit more cloud here into the morning. So it'll be a, a bit of a grey start, perhaps for northeast England. Quite a bit of cloud too for Wales and southwest England. Any early showers here, though, should scoot away. And uh, for many, it's a fine day on Tuesday. Quite a bit of sunshine coming through. A brighter day for the Midlands, East Anglia and the southeast. But there will be that wind which will continue to strengthen and bringing a, a cold feel. Again, across northern Scotland, stubborn fog patches, which in some places will last all day. And if that happens, temperatures won't get above freezing. For many, we'll get up to about three, four degrees with the help of a bit of weak sunshine. But that wind across England and Wales in particular will make it feel quite a lot colder than that. Through Tuesday evening, we will again see the frost forming once more. We'll see a bit more cloud, I suspect, spilling down from the North Sea. So turning cloudy over eastern Scotland, northeast England, with a few showers mixed in here. Now, most of the time, those showers will be of rain and pretty light. But we could see again a few flurries, mostly over higher ground. Temperatures will once again fall below freezing pretty widely. Uh, hard frost in some spots on Wednesday morning. But with a bit more cloud, these eastern areas, northeastern parts, may just stay a little above zero. That breeze will continue to feed the cloud in during Wednesday. So a different feel here with a few more showers likely. Southeast Scotland, northeast England. So again, where we've got the showers, it could be a little icy uh, for the south. Much of the uh, south of England, south Wales, the Midlands, dry, fine and sunny. Same goes for Northern Ireland. And again, the west coast of Scotland doing all right for sunshine. Winds light here, but that breeze uh, coming in from the North Sea will bring a cold feel with more cloud around as well. Even though on Wednesday, temperatures are likely to be maybe a degree or so higher at five or six Celsius. But again, it will feel colder with that wind. Through Wednesday evening, a few of those showers may continue to trickle in, but generally speaking, we'll keep that area of high pressure in control. It does start to slip a little bit further south by the time we get into Thursday, but high pressure means the air is generally sinking through the atmosphere. So again, a lot of dry weather around, and as the high pressure moves south, it'll probably bring perhaps a bit more sunshine returning on Thursday. This weather front might just mix things up a little bit as we head into the weekend. But uh, Aidan will have more on that in our week ahead forecast. You can catch that on YouTube, so don't forget to hit subscribe.